Hey guys, what's going on, huh? Well, here is a computer image of our 1 to 3 fifths gross curfer. However, you guys didn't let me know something. I'm used to doing World War II ships, and everything about the boot stripe is usually the same color on the hull. And then the upper superstructure is all different color. But what I did is I painted that top row, since it looked like it was on the deck, the wrong color. It should be dark. So bear with me. Kind of like that, instead of that lighter color. Make sense? Problem is, there's no really good way to break that and end it under uh, the turret C, turret C. But I did the best I could. But that's actually how she was painted. Did some research. I can't believe you guys let me do that wrong. Anyway, so here we are. Uh, the build is coming together great. I'm really enjoying it. It's fun. The superstructure right now is just sitting there. I'm building the superstructure. Um, and using the white ensign photo etch. So I am having a ball. Just, you know, there's no, <laughs> there's no instructions where anything goes. So I'm just super detailing the crap out of it. Um, but I'm using my reference photos. So I'm making sure at least it's accurate. So there we are. I am a huge fan of using um, artworks, wood decks. Love it. We'll never use another one. Um, what else we got here? Oh, how I did this. I really kind of, I, I mulled this over for almost a half a day. How I was going to get that, where the, the secondary guns are, get that color dark. So I finally broke out this airbrush. It is an H class by Posh. That is the workhorse of our industry. Some people have, you know, the double actions, but this is good all around. If you guys don't have an airbrush or you have like an old badger or something, go get the H class. It comes with three different needles and the needle I used allowed me to do this fine work and to paint that deck, that casemate, all the way around and I never even masked. I didn't even tape. I was able to control the pressure and the flow and I got right up to it and it just went on smooth as silk. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, what is that down there? It looks like I got some stinky hand spots. Um, yeah, that's another good point too. Be sure to keep your hands clean when you're touching your model. I'll have to go back and airbrush that. But yeah, go get that airbrush. It's like $40, $50 on eBay. Definitely worth it. Um, compressor wise, that's my compressor down there. I picked it up for five bucks on eBay. Now shipping was a whole different story, but it was a steal. Um, so yeah, I, I couldn't even tell you how old that thing is, but it keeps working. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of that airbrush now. And cleanup is so easy. Um, so that's what's going on. So I'll probably continue to dink around with this a little bit. We are leaving from Nebraska, home of the Huskers, to Oregon to go watch them play. However, Wyoming wildfires are affecting the air to the point it's hazardous. Um, so there's a very real possibility they're going to cancel the Nebraska Duck game. But we'll see. Well, I guess I'll just go anyway. Anyway, that's all I know. If you guys keep posting the questions in the comments, I really appreciate it. We'll give it a close look here. So yeah, we got a little bit of an issue right there that we can fix. Um, I'm enjoying the superstructure. The uh, instructions aren't the greatest, but it's okay. You can just reason it out. Um, if you guys are interested in pre-World War II ships and like dreadnoughts, I would highly recommend picking this this up. Um, it's the Gro Gross Curve First. And I think they also had the Koenig, which was her sister ship. And it is a real joy to build. I've just really been enjoying it. I picked up the artworks um, deck for the Hobby Boss 1 to 350 Arizona. I think I'm going to do that next. So anyway, that's what's going on. Keep asking questions. Keep posting comments. I appreciate it. Um, that's all I really know. So I will talk to you guys soon, okay?